you're about to dive in Shimon Esrei. Does it really make a difference if I dive in? Does it really affect anything? Every single time you pray, every single time you pray, it has a positive, strong effect on the entire Jewish people. I'll give you two proofs. One proof is Avram Avinu Davins for Sodom. The answer is no. Sodom is not saved at all. But Chazal tell us, and other places in the Forsum tell us that, the tefillahs that Avram Avinu prayed for Sodom helped the entire Jewish people throughout history. That's one proof. The second proof that your tefillahs are so powerful and have a really strong effect is the Gemara says that when we daven, we daven in the same way that an Evid goes to ask his master for something. When a slave goes to ask his master for something, first he praises the master, then he asks for what he needs, and then he, after he receives what he got, what he wants, after he gets it, he says, Master, thank you so much. We dive in the same exact way. We praise Hashem, we ask Him, and then we thank Him for having granted exactly what we wanted. So wait a second, that's not true. If you're davening for Parnassa, and you, you praise Hashem, great HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and now you ask him for pranasa, you ask him for money, you ask him for a financial situation that's going to be better. Then all of a sudden, as soon as you finish praying for that, you say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Mivarech Hashanim, thank you for blessing the years. It's not true. If I look at my bank account, it's not going to be bigger. What's pshat? Teretz is beautiful, beautiful. It doesn't make a difference whether you see it now or not. As soon as you dive in, there is a definite positive effect in the world that's already happened. So much so that you can thank Hashem that I already granted it to you. Now, if you know that that's the case, that means every tefillah that you have is effective. So listen to this. There are people in the world that chas v'shalom are supposed to get into a car accident right now. Two cars, terrible. The person gets rushed to the hospital, Khalila, and he's in danger, he's in trouble. How can I help him? What can I do? So of course you dab him. You dab him for the person. You try to help as much as you can. You dab him intensely. But you know what? If you dab him ahead of time, you dab him intensely, and you daven for a long period of time, like everyone davens every single day, the Jewish people should be protected. Hashkivenu is a protection prayer, a protection prayer. If you daven all the time, the Jewish people should be protected, and that things should be, calamity should be avoided, then a lot of times, you know what's going to happen? It's not going to happen. There's not going to be any car accident. The person's not going to fall down. He's not going to get sick. Someone's not going to lose all of his money. He's not going to get robbed. And it's all because of you. And when you get up there after 120 years, they're going to say to you, Baruchim Aboyim to the great Sadiq. You're going to say, me, great Sadiq? What do you mean? Yeah, you saved a thousand people's lives. Me? What are you talking about? I wasn't involved in it. So I gave some money now and then, but that was about it. What do you mean? No, no, no. Your tefillos, your tefillos were personally responsible for preventing a thousand deaths in the Jewish people. One thousand people are alive and stay alive longer because of your tefillos. And there's another situation when they tell you, Baruchim Aboyim, why? Because they tell you, you're a tremendous Sadiq. Why? Because there were a thousand people that Chas Shalom might have gotten a divorce. But because you were saying Shalom Rav and Sim Shalom when you're Shmod Esri, you're pray, praying for the Jewish people to have peace, to have Shalom. So though, there were a thousand couples that had more Shalom and it kept them right over the threshold to have Shalom in their house. They stayed together and their marriages were fine. It's all because of you. Wow, that's a different perspective in Shmod Esri. It's a different perspective in every prayer that you make because tefillah is great and your tefillah is great and every time you dive in it has a tremendously strong effect and it's going to bring you to greatness.